In today's lesson, we will talk about number sets and which numbers belong to which sets. So in class, we talked about the following. We talked about natural numbers. Those are your counting numbers. Remember we said that's when you were a little tiny person and you were counting your blocks and you were counting your Cheerios. Those counting numbers are your natural numbers. And then you got a little older and you learned about whole numbers. And whole numbers were simply your counting numbers and zero. And then integers came into play. And those were all of your whole numbers and their opposites. And I said a good way to remember integers is when you are making your positive and negative number line like this, and you're making it bigger than I'm making it, obviously, would the number you're looking at be something you would label on your number line. If it is, great. If it's not, it's not an integer. All right. Then rational numbers are anything that can be turned into a fraction. Conversely, irrational numbers cannot be turned into fractions. Those are the ones that are decimals that are non-terminating, meaning they never end, and there's no repeating. And then, of course, our real numbers are both the rational and the irrational together. So let's look at this chart, and we're going to go ahead and make check marks if, it if the number belongs in that set. So let's look first at the negative 14. Negative 14 was not a number that you counted your Cheerios with when you were a little person. It's not natural. It's also not a whole number. It's not zero or a counting number. But it is something you would put on that number line, so it's an integer. I can make it into a fraction simply by putting a 1 underneath it, so it is rational. If it is rational, it is not irrational. Would you please pause me and figure out the rest of these and then come back for checking when you are ready? All right. 8 and 3 fourths. Let's do this in black. 8 and 3 fourths. Actually, um, let me erase that. That's kind of messy. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. 8 and 3 fourths. It is not one of your counting numbers. It is not a whole number, which is zero in the counting numbers. It's nothing that you would put on your number line for integers. But I can make it into a fraction. So down here, 8 and 3 fourths. I can make improper by multiplying my denominator times my whole number and adding my numerator. So it would look like this. Eight, 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 3 is 35. We're going to keep our denominator. I can change that into a fraction so it is rational. If it is rational, it is not irrational, so we're going to stop there. All right, let's check pi. Pi is not a counting number. It is not a whole number. It's nothing you would put on a number line. It is non-terminating, non-repeating. So it is not rational. It is irrational. Oh, bad color. Let's try it in red. There we go. All right, 67%. 67%, um, let me do that up here, 67% equals 0 and 67 hundredths, which could be also thought of as a fraction, 67 hundredths. None of those things are a natural number. It's not a whole number. It's nothing you would put on your number line. But I obviously can make it into a fraction, so it is rational. If it's rational, it is not irrational. All right, our last one. That is not anything that you would count with, so it's not natural. It's not a whole number. It's nothing you would put on a number line. Now, although I do see a lovely pattern here, nothing is terminating, nothing is repeating. It is irrational. If it is irrational, it is not rational. So let's do one more example, and let's do the number 9. 9 is a counting number. 9 is a whole number. 
9 is an integer, I would put that on my number line. I can make 9 into a fraction by putting a 1 underneath it so it is rational. Therefore, it is not irrational.